everyone it's friday morning so that means it's story time here at the moosman library so today our story time is going to be based on a store a ukrainian folktale which actually has had a book written about it um, so if you enjoy this story you can read a book based on the same thing and maybe you even know the book um, so are you guys ready for story time? I am. It's beautiful weather out. Has anybody been getting outside to go and play? Yeah? I've been going outside and uh, yesterday afternoon I played with my nephew all day outside. It was beautiful. So should we start our story time with our rhyme? Do you guys remember? Let's think. Okay. So it's story time. So gather around. Come hear the story that I just found. Your ears are to listen. Your eyes are to look. So let's get together and hear a great book. So our story today is about a little boy and his name is Sasha. And Sasha is going to go out and he's going to gather some wood because it's winter. So on a cold winter day, Sasha went out to, into the forest to gather wood for his grandma and him. He put on his coat and his boots and his warm woolen mittens. To pick up the wood, Sasha didn't want, and sticks, he didn't want to ruin his mittens, so he took them off and picked up all the sticks. Suddenly, a wind came and blew one of Sasha's mittens away. Oh dear, poor Sasha. So now he only has how many mittens? Just one, and he only needs to have one mitten. Should I put Sasha's wood over here? <sighs> so the mitten blew away all by itself. And along came, who came? What kind of animal do you think that is? A chipmunk, yeah. Along came a chipmunk who found Sasha's mitten. And he said, hmm, what a wonderful, cozy mitten this is. It will keep me soft and warm all winter. And so he climbed into the mitten. So here's our little chipmunk trying to fit in our tiny mitten. A few minutes later, another animal came. What kind of animal is this? Who has long ears? A rabbit, yeah, a snowy rabbit came. And he's, he was very cold from the snow and the freezing wind. And he said, oh, please move over, move over, make room for me. But the chipmunk said, Look, my mitten's too small, you see. But he saw that the poor rabbit was shivering with cold, so he moved over and the rabbit got in. So here's a chipmunk and a rabbit, both trying to fit in our little mitten. Let's stick it in the middle. Megan doesn't have a mitten big enough to actually fit them. So we're gonna pretend, we're gonna use our imaginations that they're fitting in the mitten, okay? So a few minutes later, an owl came flying by and she begged, oh, please move over, move over and make room for me. Uh, but look, our mitten's too small, you see, said the, said the chipmunk and the rabbit. But the animals noticed that the owl began to shiver in the cold wind and let her inside their new home. The mitten pulled and it stretched as the old owl squeezed in. A few minutes later, another, what kind of animal is this? A raccoon, yeah, a raccoon came along. Oh, move over, move over, please make room for me. But look, our mitten's too small, you see, said the chipmunk, the uh, rabbit, and owl. 
but the animal noticed that the raccoon was shivering in the cold wind and they let her in him inside their home. So now in our tiny mitten, we have a chipmunk, a rabbit, an owl, and a raccoon. Soon, uh, what kind of animal is that? A fox. Yeah, soon a red fox came along and spied the mitten. She begged, oh, move over, move over. Please make room for me. But our mitten's too small, you see, replied the chipmunk, the rabbit, the owl, and the raccoon. But they noticed that the fox was shivering in the cold wind and they let her come inside their mitten and it stretched bigger and bigger. A few minutes later, another animal came. Who's that? A bear. Yeah, a bear came along. The bear said, Oh, please move over and move over and make some room for me. But the, but the animals replied, look, but look, our mitten's too small, you see. And who's in our, who's all in our mitten so far? We have a chipmunk, a rabbit, an owl, a raccoon, and a fox. Oh my goodness, I don't know. But the mitten was very cramped. But they noticed that the bear was shivering in the cold and they let him inside their home. The mitten pulled and stretched, but it didn't break. Now our mitten was very full, but at last the animals were all warm and safe from the freezing wind. They probably would have spent the whole winter together if not for a little gray. What's that? <clears throat> a mouse? Yeah, it's a little gray mouse. <clears throat> it came scampering along and noticed the mitten and wanted to squeeze in. She begged, oh, please move over, move over and make room for me. But look, our mitten's too small, you see, said the chipmunk, the owl or the rabbit, the owl, the raccoon, the fox and the, who's our last animal? The bear. Uh, but the animals noticed the mouse was shivering in the cold wind. So they all curled up tight and made room for her. So here is all of our animals in our mitten. We have the chipmunk the rabbit, the owl, the raccoon, the red fox, the brown bear, and the little gray mouse. Oh. So all of our animals were squeezed tightly into this tiny mitten. But soon the mitten began to stretch farther and farther and farther until suddenly it went boom and the mitten ripped apart and all the animals flew through the air. A few days later, when Sasha went to gather new firewood for his grandmother, he found wool scattered through the forest that looked very similar to his mitten. So can you guys remember all of the animals that we had in our story and what order they went in? So we had a chipmunk and then a rabbit, and then an owl, and then a, a raccoon, and then the fox, and then the bear, and lastly, the little gray mouse. And they all were fitting in our mitten. And do you guys remember who our little boy was? Do you remember what his name was? Sasha, right. So you guys could practice telling this story and maybe you could tell it to a friend or a grandma or a grandpa when you call them, yeah? And you can tell them all about Sasha who was such a good little boy. He went to go gather, what do you go to gather in the forest? Yeah, he went to go gather wood. So Sasha went to go gather wood and when he lost his mitten, 
a whole bunch of animals found it and tried to live in it for winter. So thanks for joining me for story time today. Um, we won't have story time for the next couple of weeks. We're going to do a special story time on the last day we're open, um, which is the 23rd of December, and we're going to do the night before Christmas. We're going to do the poem. So, um, but I will have rhyme times running on Wednesdays right till Christmas. Um, so you can join me for those. So we will see you guys on Wednesday next week for a new rhyme time, and it's going to be about Christmas too. So I hope everybody's enjoying our beautiful weather, and we'll see you next.